welcome back to the web um my friend gerard is gonna talk up more about um the herbs of the bible and the spiritual meditation and relaxation of the herbs the, the medicine medicinal herbs if i pronounce that right gerard yeah um you were telling me earlier about the purposes of the herbs and so forth uh, from the bible can you tell me more about it okay uh ron rastafari believes that like the marijuana herb is uh, a part of the healing of the nation's tree and that's in revelations in the bible that god said uh he would have the uh every leaf uh he have a tree uh, growing this is called the healing of the nation and a lot of rocks is called the marijuana the healing of the nation that's the healing of the nation the herb? healing yeah healing of the nation is uh, medicine Her herb is medicine herbs as medicine got you um I know and that, oh, go ahead and, and, and now all you see that they legalized that they own so in certain countries and certain you know cities and stuff they got illegal marijuana yeah i realize that they legalize it um persons have been using it um for pain most yeah for pain for pain and and uh psych psych uh psych psych uh psychiatric beliefs yeah and uh uh epilepsy uh whatever you have seizures it helps have seizures and stuff it helps with the flu it helps with bronchitis it helps with asthma. There's a lot it of helps stuff it helps with. That's right. So, um, yeah. I, I have another question for you, though. Um, uh -huh. Where are Rastafarians today? A lot of them is in Jamaica and in Africa. In Africa? Yeah, in Africa. Certain parts of Africa and then in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. And they got them in, they got them in South America. They got they got Hispanic Rastas now. They got Spanish reggae. Talking about Rastafari. Okay. Uh, one is Leona. Uh, she a uh, Mexican and black. She's a Rastafari, and uh, you know she sings about Ethiopia, Rastafari, and all that. Okay, I'm gonna um, a I'm gonna quote what uri.org says yes. it says that most are in Jamaica but uh -huh. it was spread out to other Afro-Caribbean communities in Europe and the United States that's so important right here when they're talking about Afro-Caribbean anyways it goes to say that it's it especially appeals to young African Americans the image of the black messiah and the positive message about being black and seeking freedom are very compelling although not a large group perhaps 100,000 its influence has spread beyond its followers through the dress and reggae music of Rastas Reggae was developed by Rastafarians in Jamaica as an important part of worship. Today you hear it all over the world. So um, they're touch, touching on reggae. And I hear you listen to reggae a lot. So can you elaborate a little bit more of the connection between reggae and the worship? Okay, you want to know what's the difference between? Uh, no, just tell us a little. Just tell us a little bit more about um, reggae, from a reggae? spiritual point of view. Okay. Uh, well, reggae, reggae is supposed to uh, originate from Naibingi, and Naibingi is um, a ceremony that the Rastafari's practice, and. Um, so they say uh, Reggae came from that, from Naya Bingi. Those are uh, Rastafari elders who, who 
left out of church. They went to the hills in Jamaica and started the, the movement, the Rastafari movement in the hills of Jamaica. And they used their drums and do Naya Bingi. Okay, cool. Fair enough. Um, I want to ask a very important question, though, as it relates to the dreadlocks. Okay. Why do they have? Yeah, why do they wear dreadlocks? Uh, it's, uh, it's written in the Holy Bible, in the, in the Old Testament, Numbers chapter 6, I believe. And it says, uh, grow your grow the locks of your hair to your uh, vow that you made, you know, vow in your oath to God so you fulfill, like, a, a certain purpose. Uh, it's, the, it's the Nazarene law. Naz- uh, called the Nazarene law. Nazarene law? Yeah. Okay, cool. You're to, yeah, you're supposed to grow your dress and don't cut your beard. You're supposed to let it grow mm-hmm. until you keep a, a certain promise to God. It's like a personal mm-hmm. thing. Got you. All right, Gerard, with this, we're going to end our session, okay? Uh, All right.